In this video, let's explore a powerful nutrient that can replace kidney filtration. Yes, we're talking about dietary fiber. Changing your diet with seven fiber-rich foods that are incredibly good for your health can transform your kidney health. When it comes to kidney diets, there's only one truly effective tip. The tip is to replace protein-rich foods with fiber-rich ones. In fact, dietary fiber can make a big difference, as it binds and helps remove kidney toxins from the intestines before they enter the bloodstream. We can say that dietary fiber simply lets the intestines do the kidney's job. Science says, fiber can reduce EGFR. What many people don't know about fiber is that some foods, like the seven foods in today's video, contain special types of fiber that can be extremely powerful in fighting issues such as high blood pressure, cholesterol, digestive problems, and even diabetes. Yes, diabetes. That's right, and don't miss my number one food today, as it's packed with a special type of fiber that can pull toxins out of your kidneys. But before we get to that, are you curious about how fiber protects against diabetes? Let's take a look at today's number 7 food, shiitake mushrooms. You might exclaim something similar when you realize how good they are for you. In fact, shiitake mushrooms are not only a great source of vitamin D. Did you know that recent research shows shiitake mushrooms are also great for diabetes? In fact, according to a study published in the Journal of Pharmacological Research in December 2024, Lentinula edota has great potential in managing disorders like obesity and type 2 diabetes. This was published in December 2024. So, you might be one of the first people in the world to hear this. Move over 24-hour news cycles. I have hot news about mushrooms. Anyway, let's talk about Lentinula edota, the scientific name for shiitake mushrooms, and why they're great for diabetes. The first reason is their beta-glucan content. This is a type of fiber with amazing properties. We'll talk more about it in this video. When it comes to diabetes, beta-glucan and other plant compounds in shiitake mushrooms can help protect the beta cells of the pancreas boost insulin production, and lower blood sugar levels. Amazing! Not to mention that mushrooms like shiitake are not only an excellent source of beta-glucan, they are also extremely low in calories and won't raise your blood sugar levels. Now, most mushrooms are great foods to add to your diet, and you can use them in soups and stir-fries. You can enjoy them guilt-free, unlike that secret cookie stash you think no one knows about. Number 6. Let's talk about foods that help lower blood pressure, onions. Onions may look like giant green onions, but they have a milder sweetness and a creamier texture when cooked. Like garlic, onions have a long list of health benefits. They're like garlic after attending a meditation retreat, calmer, more composed and less likely to make you cry. Onions seem particularly helpful in lowering blood pressure, and it's not just because of their allicin content, the compound that gives garlic its amazing properties. Onions are also rich in a special type of fiber called fructooligosaccharides, FOS. Simply put, this is a prebiotic. Okay, that's great for your gut health, and therefore, your kidney health. FOS not only protects your gut and kidneys, but it also enhances nutrient absorption, especially magnesium. Yes, that's why onions are so good for high blood pressure. So, consider adding onions and other FOS-rich foods like garlic, bananas, Jerusalem artichokes, and asparagus to your diet. Onions, in particular, are easy to incorporate into your diet. Cut off the roots and dark green parts, keeping only the white and light green parts. They're great in salads, but also make a wonderful addition to soups, dips, stews, taco fillings, stir-fries, 
and potato dishes. But remember, eating them raw or lightly cooked is the best way to retain their valuable nutrients. Here's an important question. Does eating more fiber really make a difference for kidney disease? Yes. According to many studies, Increasing fiber intake is linked to reduced inflammation and slowed progression of chronic kidney disease, CKD, even in those in advanced stages. Specifically, a recent study directly compared the EGFR of two groups of CKD patients. One group consumed more than 25 grams of fiber daily, while the other group ate less. And folks, this is a huge deal. Researchers have proven a link between increased fiber intake and slower CKD progression, as we see here. But it doesn't stop there. Those with kidney disease have also benefited from improved cholesterol levels, inflammation markers, and even protein in the urine. So, if you ask me whether dietary fiber can make a difference, my answer is clear. Science says it can, and who am I to disagree with that? This is a food that can directly improve the ability of the gut to eliminate toxins, particularly phosphorus. The number of years is chicory root. Now, chicory root is not really a food you can eat on its own like onions or mushrooms. It's more like an ingredient. It can be used in soups, stews, or teas to add flavor, but it's really good for health and contains a special type of fiber. That's why I still want to include it here. Anyway, what many people don't know is that fresh chicory root is composed of 68% inulin by dry weight. But what is inulin and how does it help us, you ask? Good question. And no, inulin is not the latest social media app that all the kids are using, though that would be interesting. But no, it's even better, inulin is a type of fiber and FOS actually works as a powerful prebiotic. It nourishes the beneficial bacteria in your gut. You may have actually used some of it, yes, even if you didn't know about its existence. If you're taking a probiotic supplement, inulin is actually one of the most widely used types of fiber in prebiotic supplements because of its proven ability to nourish probiotics. But you see, there's more to inulin than just feeding those bacteria. In fact, it can actually lower your blood phosphorus levels, according to studies, thus slowing the progression of CKD. Now, the interesting part is that it doesn't actually work like a traditional phosphate binder, you know, like calcium carbonate or calcium acetate. The way inulin helps is by improving the gut microbiome and environment, which indirectly reduces the absorption of phosphorus. Number 4. Let's talk about the best fiber source for cholesterol. Number 4 is oats. Alright, folks, nothing beats oats when it comes to lowering cholesterol levels. Sure, there are many types of fiber and a variety of foods with health benefits, but when it comes to reducing cholesterol, no food has been studied more thoroughly than oats. Oats contain the same type of fiber found in shiitake mushrooms, beta-glucan. This fiber not only helps with diabetes. According to numerous studies, of all the types of fiber, beta-glucan is the most effective when it comes to protecting the kidneys from cholesterol. And of course, oats are the most widely consumed source of beta-glucan. So, the way this fiber works is actually quite fascinating. In the intestines, the fiber in oats absorbs bile and pulls it out of your blood, creating a bile deficiency. Therefore, your liver, in order to produce more bile, will pull cholesterol from your blood. Yes, so instead of just sitting there and damaging your blood vessels and kidneys, all this cholesterol will finally do something useful for once. So, if your cholesterol isn't perfect and you're not eating oats for breakfast every day, maybe it's time to consider this creative food. Now, the question is, what other foods contain beta-glucan? Since this fiber is so great, you might also want to consider foods like barley, whole wheat, 
and mushrooms. They are all excellent sources of this super healthy fiber, but as you can imagine, they are all rich in carbohydrates, except for mushrooms. That's why I recommend oats for cholesterol and shiitake mushrooms for diabetes. And you see, do you see what I did? Every recommendation I make is carefully tailored to your unique needs because no two patients are exactly the same. Speaking of personalized care, let's talk about how you can take it a step further. If you're looking for guidance beyond general advice, I'm here to help you build a customized eating plan for you and your kidney health. This isn't just a few tweaks to your meals, this is about creating a plan specifically designed for your unique needs, health goals, and lifestyle. A personalized diet can make a huge difference in your journey. It will be easy to follow, scientifically tested, and tailored to help you achieve real, measurable improvements in your kidney health. All right, everyone, next we'll look at the top three fiber rich foods that you can find. Before that, there's an important question that will surely pop up in your mind when we talk about dietary fiber is the fiber you can get from food enough, or should you also consider a fiber supplement? As we've seen in CKD patients, fiber in general seems to be a way to detoxify excess toxins and waste. And not only that, it also helps with cholesterol, diabetes, weight loss, and gut health. In fact, the benefits are so numerous that we might also consider adding another supplement to your collection. After all, you don't buy that big bottle of pills just to let it sit there, right? Anyway, if you follow me here often, you may know that there are two types of fiber supplements that are most effective in slowing the progression of CKD psyllium and inulin. But how do we choose which one is right for us, you ask? Well, it depends on the stage of kidney disease you're in. If you're in stage 3, when it comes to fiber, I recommend psyllium husk. This is an excellent supplement. It's one I also use every day because its list of benefits is longer than the number of emails in my inbox after the holiday break. But you see, psyllium husk has a big downside, you need to drink a lot of water. This is crucial. If you want to use this supplement, think of it as a water drinking game. Every time I say psyllium, instead of drinking a beverage, you should drink a glass of water. You can't take psyllium without water, it's not safe. So every time you take psyllium husk, you need to fill up a large glass of water and add a few spoons of fiber to it. But if, let's say, you're in stage 4 or 5, and adding 2-3 to three large glasses of water every day is not feasible? In that case, I would prioritize inulin. This supplement is not only a powerful detoxifier, it also comes with many of the benefits of psyllium husk. Additionally, you can take it with just enough water to dissolve, which is great for patients with fluid intake restrictions. Anyway, as you can see, clearly, the more fiber the better, but food is always best. So, make sure you're getting as much fiber as possible each day from food before considering a supplement. In fact, you might be wondering, I've already been taking too many supplements. Are you sure there's no way to get the same amount of fiber from food without adding more calories and carbohydrates? Here's a very famous food you'll find in most grocery stores, and it has a huge benefit. It's almost entirely fiber, and you can add it to your morning rice milk. Number 3 is Whole Grain Cereals Packaged foods are not the best choice for a kidney diet. But you know, this is one food you should at least consider. In fact, many whole grain cereal products are very high in fiber, but specifically, there's one product that caught my attention. Look for a sugar-free breakfast cereal that's high in fiber, and this product seems like the perfect choice. It's whole grain cereal from the Fiber One brand, and it contains an amazing amount of fiber. We're talking about 14 grams of fiber for a half cup or 30 grams of cereal. 
that's extremely high in fiber. No food can beat that. But you see, if there's one thing we've learned today, it's that not all fiber is created equal. In fact, some types of fiber have special powers, so to speak. And what's the special power of whole grain cereal, you ask? Well, it will make you run to the bathroom. Yes, really. Be sure to plan the quickest route from the kitchen to the restroom. Consider it your morning workout. So, if constipation is an issue for you, you might want to consider adding sugar-free whole grain cereal to your breakfast. But I only recommend this food for those who need to get past constipation. In fact, while this is a packaged food, it's still much better than taking a prescription laxative every day. Number 2. Now, everyone, it's time to talk about our number 2. To change things up, let's talk about the most natural food possible that also has amazing health benefits. Imagine for a moment that you can take a food that's already very healthy and prepare it in a way that transforms some of the carbohydrates it contains into dietary fiber. So, not only do you benefit from that food, but you also add more fiber to your diet. The food I'm talking about is cooked and chilled quinoa. So, quinoa is fantastic. It's an ancient seed packed with fiber, vitamins, and minerals. It's also gluten-free, and what's even more important, it contains plenty of antioxidants. What many people don't know about quinoa is that you can prepare it in a special way to turn some of the starches it contains into resistant starch. So, fewer carbohydrates, more fiber. This is great when it comes to fighting diabetes and also fantastic for the gut, as resistant starch is a powerful prebiotic. So, if you think quinoa is already a healthy food, then quinoa that's cooked and chilled is even better. It's truly an amazing food. But why is this only number two? Is there a food that's even better when it comes to fiber content and kidney health benefits? Well, everyone, there actually is a type of fiber with huge benefits that I haven't mentioned yet. This particular fiber has been studied as a way to reduce uric acid production in the body, and this is an excellent health benefit for anyone who suffers from high uric acid issues. And that's not all, this type of fiber has been shown to be extremely useful in slowing down diabetic kidney disease by improving cholesterol, glucose, and amino acid levels. This wonderful fiber, which deserves the title of today's winner in the video, is called glucomannan. This fiber is amazing, and it is extracted from the konjac plant. And folks, one of the characteristics of this plant is that it can be used to make an extremely low carbohydrate, protein, and calorie flour, but it is packed with fiber. One of the most popular foods made from this flour is shirataki noodles. Shirataki noodles, not to be confused with carbon noodles, which sadly do not exist but would certainly make dinner prep more interesting. Anyway, shirataki noodles can be used as a replacement for regular noodles because they are virtually calorie free and contain absolutely no protein. Many people also use these noodles for weight loss because they are very filling. So, replace your noodles and rice with these noodles for immediate health benefits. In the past, shirataki noodles could only be found in Asian grocery stores, but now they are widely available in health food stores and large supermarket chains. Look for them in the refrigerated section, or with vegetables or dairy products, depending on where the store typically displays them. Just remember to wash the noodles very thoroughly before cooking. Shirataki noodles are great in Asian noodle dishes, but their versatility means you can use them in any recipe that calls for noodles. That's all for today. Thanks for watching our video, and don't forget to subscribe and share.